Hello, guys. Uh, after I saw a couple of uh, lists on the Facebook group, and generally uh, that are being posted within my uh, view distance, I've noticed a lot of people were not considering that uh, Droll and Lockbird are in the format and are pretty much a guaranteed way to shut down Necros. So I'm doing this video to specifically deal with the worst card Necros can ever deal with apart from Mistake. Uh, and that is, um, yeah, how we can counter it. So I compiled here a list and gave us a couple of lines of plays and cards that can help us against the, that card, starting with the most consistent cards uh, to deal with uh, Droll and Lockbird. So first of all, we got Instant Fusion. Uh, Instant Fusion is going to summon us Millennium Eyes Restrict, and this is the first play we're going to do in the game. And uh, this will ensure us that we're playing through at least one hand trap, and that we can negate Droll, so we can basically search as much as we want. The next card, of course, is Caught by the Grave, which is famous for being good to counter hand traps that are discarded. That means not one of our next cards. Uh, this and Gamma, which is the card that I mean, are probably the main de uh, the go-to main deck staples when it comes to dealing with Drone Lockbird in Necros. And you can also, uh, if you decide to play Pro Pot of Prosperity, you can uh, force your opponent, if you see one of these four cards, uh, to... Um, like not roll you. And that is something that makes uh, Pot of Prosperity a pseudo way to out roll. Though you also have to notice that if you do not open one of these two cards and you activate this as your first card. So you activate this first, uh, this as your first card. If you know your hand cannot beat Droll, by the way. So keep that in mind. If you got like a hand that could play through Droll, but like Droll would hurt it, Activate pot, uh, uh, the Pot of Prosperity first and hope you see Called by the Grave or Gamma and take those. Uh, otherwise, Pot of Prosperity could be a card that you sequence in later just so that you uh, get more, uh, get the right card for the job and that you filter out uh, cards that you would search anyways. But if you know your game too, Activate this first card if you don't open Gamma. And if you do open Gamma, also activate this as first card because uh, and then don't take a gamma and then you could bait somebody into uh gammaing you uh gamma is excellent in necros because specifically your and all your searchers they're monsters but you discard them so every time you search with your necros cards and that is why you do your necros searches as first thing in the turn as possible uh, is you gamma the thing, and then you get full Halka Fibrox combo, or you could go into any Synchro 8, which is really practical. Uh, the next couple cards are a little bit more obscure, but are also known to be good against Roll and Lockbird. Uh, Neospatian Aquadolphin and also Neospace Connector are excellent warrior extenders that also have the function of uh, hitting Droll and Lockbird. So keep that in mind. If you really want to deal with Droll and Lockbird and you got some slots free and you know that your uh, opponent is like, if you're playing in a locals that likes to play Droll and Lockbird and not as strong decks, like not playing Virtual World or anything where you need the hand traps to beat them, uh, playing Aqua Dolphin in your deck is a good way to do, uh, deal with Droll and Lockbird. Also, you can side this card. Uh, then Deep Sea Minstrel, because all your Necros cards are water monsters, uh, playing Minstrel is pretty effective to deal with almost any hand trap in their hand. Actually, uh, it can deal with every hand trap that they have, except for Dimension Shifter. But uh, this will help you to play through hand traps. But this card is really bad when your hand is bad. Uh, Continuing forth, this is more of a line of play that can uh, get you through Drone Lockbird. So there is a combo with Deep Sea Diva that revolves around uh, 
Haka Fibrax. Uh, the usual combo that you would do with Deep Sea Diva searches two times. But if you get Drone Lockbirded, uh, you will not do uh, searching two times. Uh, you can also do this combo with any level two tuner that special summons another uh, monster from your deck or gets uh, you a token or anything that facilitates needle fiber. Uh, if you have a level two, a level two tuner in the grave uh, during the combo, uh, this combo works, and the combo will let you uh, will allow you to end on VFD. No matter if they drone lock birded or asked your uh, Herald of Arc Lights. Uh, speaking about Herald of Arc Lights, any card that can summon Herald of Arc Light completely plays around drone lock bird because they cannot even legally activate drone lock bird under uh, Herald of Arc Light of the Arc Light. So keep that in mind. Also, Herald of the Arc Light. If you want to play some kind of engine that need, uh, that supports uh, Dogmatic and Maximus. You can also play something like the lefty righty driver package, uh, which then I uh, facilitate summoning Herald of the Arc Light. Diva can do the same thing. Lefty and righty driver are a bit better at it than Diva, but Deep Sea Diva is also searchable, and Deep Sea, and the same card can also search Deep Sea Minstrel, which I put, uh, which is the reason why I put those two together. Then a more obscure card, uh, Cocky Mario Guardian. This card is generally good against the first hand trap in your turn. If you don't play a lot of normal summons, you could consider this card, but I think uh, that Neospatian Aqua Dolphin is better. But generally, uh, having this as an option is always a way to go. If you really, really, really need to beat Droll. And then uh, there is Exchange, which can, of course, uh, reveal, uh, which reveals one of your opponent's card, uh, his in hand, so you know what hand traps they have. And then uh, you exchange cards. This card can be activated if you got like a bad hand or a good hand, and you could like ruin your opponent's hand because your Necroz cards usually do not do anything for other decks. So uh, consider that if you like bricked on this. But if your hand is good, you could do your searches, set the essential cards, and uh, do exchange if you need to play around other hand traps, or if you really cannot play around to roll, you just exchange directly. Uh, then one thing that I have to say is any Christian combo that we do, is not going to play around Droll. Unless you hard draw Christia, you cannot play around Droll playing the Christia combos. So this is also a reason why I cut the Christia combos uh, out of uh, my uh, versions of the deck, specifically because Droll is right now, I think, the most important side deck hand trap in the game. So uh, this is a quick video. Uh, this wraps around uh, about how you can deal with Drone Lockbird. I would recommend uh, deck building wise that you at least include uh, these three options. And uh, then you can be pretty safe about playing around Droll because Gamma helps against Droll, Called helps against Droll, and Prosperity gets you to Called or Gamma. And Prosperity can also help you otherwise. This card generally is excellent. So as I said, this wraps up how to uh, beat Droll and Lockbird. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, see ya.